It's me, it's Mom McGee, and today and yesterday's vlogs were going to be combined, but there's just too much footage, so it's going to be two separate vlogs. So this vlog is all about a pretty crazy day full of scams, so let's get this party started. Insert the vlog of the day now. Okay, I got a break. Hallelujah. And today I've been up since five, six, early times. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm getting ready and we are going back up a three hour drive to get an ultrasound of my spleen to see if that's the swollen thing in my stomach. And then driving an hour south of that to get the x-ray to see if I pooped out the radioactive rings or not. <laughs> I'm so tired. But everything is okay because we got Disney Plus last night and it could be the greatest thing to ever happen to planet Earth. Yay! Okay, so as you guys know, I've been in a lot of pain and I found myself holding my breath a lot when I'm in pain. And I've always wondered why. So I googled it, and apparently, like, when you hold your breath, it raises your blood sensors, which, your blood, when you hold your breath, it raises your blood pressure, which triggers some sensors in your nervous system that actually lessen acute pain. It's kind of cool. I think it's cold. <laughs> Don't know if you guys can see that, but I can see my breath. Why do I live somewhere where I can see my breath? I need to move. It was a message. We have the drive and are here for the ultrasound, and I'm super not excited because it hurts really bad today. So this ultrasound is going to be terrible, but I still have a swollen, protruding bulge from my stomach, so it's a necessary pain. The ultrasound and it killed. But I asked the tech, and from what she saw, she thinks my spleen is a good size, which is good. But another part of me is like, there is something swollen and protruding out of my stomach, and I can't find it. And I just don't want this to be a new normal because it really hurts. So I'm kind of bummed, and I'm just, I think I'm hangry because, well, not even really hungry, but I'm just kind of done. <laughs> but today can only go up, right? I wish those were my size. Yeah, live in the 2019 winter collection. We call this hospital chic in a patient plaid with an easy access back for your everyday cardiac emergencies. <laughs> I just got my x-ray and I love how they say like it's this safe procedure and then they hop behind this big old battle wall. <laughs> so that I don't get the radiation you're being blasted with. Like I've been thinking about all the radiation I've gotten and I'm pretty sure I should have enough to get superpowers and star in a Marvel movie by now. So maybe some good will come out of this. I don't think they're gonna figure out the bulge, but you guys know me when it comes to hope with my medical, it just doesn't exist. So I'm trying to find a way to deal with the pain. I bought like this heat pack thing today. I'm hoping maybe if I heat it, the bulge will get smaller. <laughs> Who knows? But medical is over for and now. Today. Was stressed now we out. Have I'm so tired. I tried to eat, but it tasted really weird. And I don't know if it was just me or I got food poisoning, but it didn't stay at all. I think I've had like the amount of two meals in two days, which sucks. My stomach better get its crap together before Thanksgiving because I've been dreaming of mashed potatoes. The Christmas aisle. And it might just be my happy place. Cause oh, it's so hard not to decorate for Christmas yet. But I'm trying really, really hard to wait till after Thanksgiving. Cause you gotta be grateful before you like give for Christmas and before you get, you know? But oh, today has been hard. Like I told you guys, oh uh, yeah. I was telling you guys how I did it. That steak was kind of weird and it didn't feel good. But then after that, I started puking. Like I puked in the dressing room. Just so gross, but thank goodness I carry a barf bag with me everywhere. 
So I had a barf bag in my purse, but then I'm like, I just can't walk out of here with the barf bag. So I put the barf bag in my purse <laughs> and then walked to the bathroom. And, uh, but then nothing has stayed down. I got super, super dizzy. So I got like a caffeine, coffee, a tea free drink at Starbucks. $23.95. Helped for a little bit till I just violently was reintroduced to it in Costco. My body has had zero nutrients today. Disease, five points, Megan, zero. Don't know how I'm gonna get anything in this body. I was walking around Costco feeling super sorry for myself. I saw a little old guy who had a full blown Santa beard wearing a Santa hat. He must do this just special, like special for Christmas. And it made me, I don't know why, I'm getting out of breath. But it gave me the biggest smile. Like there are a lot of very good people. I mean, hopefully he's not one of those creepy people who dresses up as Santa, but he looked really nice. He had kind eyes. So I believe he's one of those good people in the world that give me hope on bad days. So as you guys see, I've been trying to record throughout my day and I found the joys cause it's what I do, you know? It's been a really hard day. And if you read the post I wrote that has a picture of me in a hospital gown, most recent one of me in a hospital gown, it explains what's feeling, but most importantly, it explains what I was reminded at Institute tonight. But I felt guilty praying and complaining to Heavenly Father because I feel so sick when he's given me so much. I just feel dumb complaining and telling him how crappy I feel. Like, it makes me feel like I'm not showing gratitude for all the other amazing things he's given me. But tonight at Institute, we're in a day of just puked all day and I puked up the one food I thought was gonna stay down. I was reminded that I not only have like a God, like an all powerful, all knowing God, but I have, and he is my father in heaven. He wants to be there for me on days like this and hold me when I wanna cry, you know? Just really grateful. And I feel like well, I got a blessing, which is like a prayer for the sick. And you guys are in it, which is really cool. And it's just, it's my goal to share about God on here because he's given me so much. And through him, I've been able to learn so much. And he's where joy comes from. So I hope, I hope I'm able to share his word on here. And in that blessing, I have faith that maybe I will have some intake tomorrow. I've had no food or water today and it's been really hard. I'll have some intake tomorrow, which would be such a blessing. Tomorrow I see Glaucoma and I had to send a message to my GI because he called to tell me that the marker test, you know, the magic little pill to see if my colon's working. He said it was empty, but he was, and I didn't have any left, but he's confused why, because I still had some stool burden. And then I asked him if that stool burden could cause the protruding bulge in my side. And I was on my way home, so the service could go out at any time because I live in the country. And he's like, you have a swollen what? And then it went totally dead. <laughs> oh, sorry, I feel like I'm going to throw up. It was really funny. So I had to send him a message explaining that that one doctor told me to, that if I needed to poop, all my pain will go away. So I made a very bad choice and took enough laxative to clear an elephant. So that's why I was cleared. But yeah, that institute was exactly what I needed today. And thank you guys for being a part of my story. And I hope that through my words, maybe if you if you don't know God, you can try to build a relationship. I know he's there and that he loves you. And this is going to be a long vlog. So I better attempt to go to bed because I might get a call from my GI tomorrow because I sent him a picture of this little lump and told him I've kept nothing down. <laughs> And then I have glaucoma. We will see how this goes. So yep, we are at the end of the vlog and thankfully last night I was able to keep down a piece of bread. And this morning I was barely able to keep down a piece of bread. And I, my GI messaged me back and he still wants me to wean off the nausea medication and go to the ER if the pain gets worse. But you see how well that worked for me. So, basically screwed. <laughs> yep. Anyway, the next vlog will be out shortly. 
Wish me luck, have faith, trust God, and always smile.